Okay, fellow teachers, my name is Evan, and today I'm going to take you through the basics of using your gradebook in Infinite Campus. Now, this is meant to be kind of a ground-up tutorial, so if you've never uh, worked with Infinite Campus before, if you've never entered grades into Infinite Campus before, this is hopefully kind of from step one all the way to um, the end, uh, a full tutorial on how to do that, okay? So when you first log into Infinite Campus, it should bring you to um, this control center, and you can see your uh, sections here, your attendance, and then if you can't see this menu over here on the left, you'll need to click this uh, three-line icon up next to the Infinite Campus logo, and that will show a menu of options. And we want to select the second one down called Gradebook. Now, I have set this up to be my third quarter class, and I just want to make a few disclaimers before I go any further. Um, I teach middle school exploratory here in the Waterloo Community School District, and so the way that the grading is set up for those classes is just a little bit different than uh, most of the other classes. Um, so there will be some things that uh, I do that are just a little bit different, but I think the general concepts will be the same. So all that to be said, I teach uh, a new group of students every nine weeks. So every quarter I get a new class. And we are about to, at the time I'm making this video, we are about to enter into the third quarter. So I have not set up my grade book yet for third quarter. And so I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Um, and this is the first step in order to uh, make sure that you have everything set up and good to go. So I'm gonna make my little video uh, smaller here so that you can see more of my screen. I'm also going to get uh, rid of this for now. So the first place that we're going to start is our settings, and that's this blue arrow. And that kind of opens up this drawer of options. And the very first thing that I'm going to show you how to do is create categories. And here at Carver, where I currently teach, we have been instructed to add two categories to our uh, gradebook assessment and practice and I'll explain what this uncategorized assignment is later um, and I'm gonna have to get rid of my video completely there but that's okay you don't need to see me um, the way that we've been instructed to set up these categories is assessments are weighted at 90% in the gradebook practices are weighted at 10% so in order to add a category if you don't have them already you're gonna click the add button and you can type in whatever name that you would like to give it. I'm gonna say practice one because I already have one called practice. And then if you click this button right here, excuse the bell in the background, sorry about that. Um, if you click this button right here, it will check all of the sections that you teach. So if you wanna apply this to your whole grade book for every class, this is where you can select all of them at once. And you can weight them. So maybe I wanna weight this at 15% you can see that it changed that um, for all of them. And then I can click Save. <clears throat> so now you can see I have my Practice 1 category in here. I'm actually gonna go in and delete that because I don't need that. But that's how you create a category. And now that I, I'll pull these up quick so you can see them, but now that I have my categories made, um, my assessments are weighted at 90%, and practices are weighted at 10%. Um, that's exactly how I want them. Now, the next step that I need to take is I need to go over here to Grade Calc Options, okay? Grade Calc Options is how I take those categories and I tell the gradebook to weight the categories appropriately. So I'm going to click Continue. And then you can see um, that I have options for midterm and final. Now, this might be a little bit different for those of you that teach a core class um, since uh, you teach most of your students for an entire school year uh, you might not see the final option you might see a quarter grade option or a semester grade option here I'm not really sure because I'm not a core teacher and I don't know what that part of the grade book looks like but for me I teach uh, nine week sections so I have to do a midterm grade um, halfway through and then I do a final grade at the end of the quarter to set this up, we're going to go over here to Type, and we're going to select In Progress Grade, and we're going to select our grading scale as A to F, 
and we're going to weight the categories. And I'm going to do the same thing down here for our final grade as well. Okay, so I'll leave this up here for just a second, and if you need to pause the video right now and do this in your own gradebook, go ahead and do that now. But this is what we should have um, for any types of uh, standard or grading task. Um, in progress grade, grading scale A to F, and weight the categories. That is how you will weight the assessments to be 90% and practices 10% or whatever your building does. We'll click save, and now, my gradebook for this class is ready to go. But I need to begin adding assignments. So I'm gonna do that up here. I can click Add. <clears throat> and this is where you add each individual assignment. So I'm just going to create um, a generic assignment here as a demonstration. So you have to give the assignment a name. Anything that you see red with a little asterisk next to it is something that uh, needs to be filled in so and it always wants an abbreviation and then you have to uh, assign it and I'm just going to assign it on the 19th and make it due on the 19th since that'll be the first day that I have these students we can also set the gradebook sequence um, this is just a feature that you can use to control which order um, the assignments appear in. So assignment number one, to me it would make sense for that to be number one. And then down here is where I select the category. Remember, I had set up assessment and practice. So if I want this to be an assessment, I select that. If I want it to be practice and only weighted at 10%, I select that. Down here, I want to make sure that this is final. Um, for me, that's what I always select. But again, depending on what you teach, that might change. We want to score it on points, uh, and let's say that it's worth 10 points. And I have never messed with the multiplier. I'm sure there are people out there that are smarter than me that know how to manipulate that feature, but I leave that alone. And uh, you can also add a rubric down here. Uh, I believe I've done a video on that. If you are interested in that, let me know, and I can find that video and send it to you. And then you also have some uh, ability to add student instructions. Um, and add more details for teachers and such. But once you've kind of done these basic things, given in a name, an abbreviation, the assigned date, the due date, the sequence, um, the category, and uh, grading task, total points, you can click Save. And now what we'll see in my gradebook when I close out of this is now I have a new column in my gradebook for assignment number one. If I hover over that, um, it expands out. I can see that it's called assignment number one, category practice, third quarter, final grade. And once I begin entering grades, I will be able to see some different statistics, the mean, the standard deviation, range, median, all sorts of interesting things. And um, I'll go ahead and just start entering um, scores here. I'm just going to mess around with this, and I've blurred out the names of the students so that you can't see their names. This is not actually their score. Um, again, obviously, this is just for demonstration purposes, but I've given each student a score. Let's uh, kind of round that out there and give them all a score. Um, and then, again, when I hover over here, now I can see the mean was 4.46 um, with a standard deviation of 3.18 median four. Um, so, and then you can also click on this blue arrow right here to expand out this drawer, and it auto calculates those grades. So you can see that um, I've got a lot of students <laughs> that are failing right now, but rest assured, this is not a real assignment, it's a demo. I will be deleting this at the end of this video. Uh, and then when I'm ready to add another assignment, I can go over here. Um, you always want to save. That's a good reminder for me. Red save button. Click that. That'll make sure that everything's saved. And then you can add your next assignment. Give it a name and go through all of the steps again to make sure that uh, you got everything kind of in the right order. And you'll be good to go. Uh, a few other things that I can show you really quick. Right now, this is my second period class. I know that because it says two and this is the correct class code for uh, my second period class, but I teach the same class to second and third period, so I could add 
my third period class, I can filter by third quarter and find third period. And now it will add them to that. And now you can see I have second and third. I can change when it's assigned for each class, or I can make it the same by um, clicking these things up here. And let's make that an assessment worth 10 points. And we can save and close. And now another column will appear. If I want to sort by sequence, you can go up here to sort sequence. And that should flip it around so that sequence one comes first, sequence two comes second. You can also sort by other ways, by category, by due date, ascending, descending. There's a lot of different ways you can manipulate that. But as I add my grades, you can see that it will begin to auto-calculate the grades to the right. And you'll also see that um, as I'm giving each of these students 10 out of 10 on this assessment, um, it raises their grade pretty drastically right away. Um, and that proves that the 90% weighting is, in fact, working. It also gives you a breakdown of your categories. Um, so each individual student gets a breakdown assessment and practice what their grades are um, in each of those categories, as well as the in-progress cumulative grade uh, points they've earned out of possible points and a percentage and the letter grade that uh, correlates with that percentage. So those are the basics of your gradebook in Infinite Campus. There's a whole lot more to cover, but this should at least get you started if you're struggling um, to get started or if you've just never done it before and you need somebody to show you how to do that. So I hope this was helpful to you. Um, always, always feel free to reach out to me, D-E-U-T-H-E -E, at waterlooschools.org. I'd be happy to help you with anything technology related.